Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and I want to tell you about our one day training summit for children's ministry staff and volunteers called Made to Connect. You know, the Bible tells us that we were made by a relational God to have relationship with Him and with others. And if you've been around the church for any amount of time, you've likely heard the phrase we were made from relationship for relationship. And then when God creates the man, he, he says that it's not good for man to be alone. So he creates Eve to live in relationship with Adam on the earth. So the foundational principle about human beings is that we were created to live in relationship. The problem with that though, is that our experiences, positive or negative, influence our ability to seek, form, maintain relationships. Nowhere is that more important than we learn how to seek, form and maintain relationships than in the church, because God seeks to have a relationship with us. And so we created this thing called Made to Connect that recognizes that people have experienced trauma. It's a trauma sensitive, developmentally informed program, a one day training that we are traveling around, going to cities, working with churches and organizations in those cities to gather a group of churches around so that they can learn all about trauma, brain development, attachment, and then get some practical tools and insights in how to connect with the children in their children's ministry. Because the data is out there. Barna says that 58% of Christian parents choose whether they attend a church, stay at a church, or leave a church based on a children's ministry programming. It is the way to connect families to churches and to connect children to Jesus for the rest of their lives. So let me tell you a little bit about Made to Connect. It's a one day summit. Like I said, it is designed for children's ministry, staff and volunteers, but we've gone to cities where they've had Christian schools and daycares come to learn these truths so that they can better connect in relationship with the children in their care. So what does that look like? Well, we kick things off at nine o'clock in the morning with a welcome and some logistics on how the day is gonna go. And then Kayla and I get into the teaching and we spend the next hour and 45 minutes laying some foundational truths about brain development, attachment, and what it takes to make children feel safe, welcome, and loved in the ministry. And then we take a break from 11 to 11.15, and then 11.15 to 12.45, we finish out the Made to Connect content. After that, we take a lunch break for just 45 minutes, and we've tried teaching during lunch, we've tried doing Q&A during lunch, but we've learned over the years that it is really great for teams to sit together and decompress and debrief and just come, kind of come to grips with what they've been learning during the training. Then after lunch, we'll uh, fire back up with a brief 30 minute Q&A. That Q&A is only 30 minutes long because we just want to unpack, is there anything we talked about today that we need to clarify? After that, we actually go to one of my favorite parts. Once we've done all of the training, once we've equipped you with the tools, we then talk about implementation, first steps, next steps, and context. Now, first steps, meaning if we have a training on a Thursday or a Wednesday or a Friday, whenever we have it in the town, if we have a training on that day, then we're gonna talk about what you can do this weekend in children's ministry in order to create an environment where children feel safe, welcome, and loved, where they can hear the truth about Jesus. Then obviously the next steps, we wanna talk about broader implementation and having it become part of the culture of the church. How we can have this not just be about learning tools and strategies to make Sunday morning or whenever else you may have children's ministry programming a more peaceful time where the children can learn, but how we can change the culture in our churches so that there are environments with children, no matter what their background, no matter what their history, can feel safe, welcome, and loved, and can experience the love of Jesus. And the last thing we'll talk about is context, because this isn't just applicable on Sunday morning. This is about every single aspect of children's ministry. Remember the Barna data that it is the most important program at our churches. So we want to understand how we can apply it in a traditional children's ministry setting, how we can use these principles at VBS. Let's face it, VBS is a great outreach tool for churches because down here in Dallas, Fort Worth, parents sign their kids up for multiple VBSs. And again, it is the number one way to connect families to churches. We can talk about how to apply it in middle school ministry, high school ministry, what we can do when we have carnivals, when we invite people to our church for community events, or when we do outreach in the community, 
All these tools and principles are applicable in every single one of those situations. And then the last 30 minutes are left to the sponsoring organization so that they can share the work that they're doing in the city so that maybe those churches can start communicating and collaborating, being on the same page to reach that community for Jesus. You know, Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 14 that we need to choose gifts that build up the church. And we believe that the content of this training is just such a thing, that it can equip our churches to be places where children feel safe, welcome, and love, where their families feel safe, welcome, and love. And we can have an enormous impact in reaching our communities for Jesus. But here's the great thing about that, is that if you attend a Made to Connect Summit, you also work with our video-based training. It's our training divided into modules so that you can go back to your place of worship and you can train your staff, you can train volunteers. We know that staff and volunteers leave and then come in anew every single year so you can revisit that or you can just go through the training with your staff on a set schedule. Each of the modules are divided into a video and some discussion questions that you can share with your team. Each of those videos are between 12 and 17 minutes long. So you could go through a module in 30 minutes in the context of an hour long weekly staff meeting. So we love that we don't just come into town and equip people, but we leave them with something so that they can go back to the well and keep reminding themselves and learn anew what it means that we were made to connect.